You know what occasionally happens on the street when two people are walking down the sidewalk straight at each other and they both decide to move to the right together and then to the left together and they somehow get stuck and they can't pass each other. Zen teachers will pull just exactly that sort of stunt when going down a path and meet one of their students to see if they can get him in a tangle and can he escape from it. And you will find in everyday life that there is a very clear distinction between people who always seem to be uh, self-possessed and people who are dithering and nervous and don't quite know how to react in any given situation, always getting embarrassed because they have their life too strongly programmed. You said, I mean, this is a common marriage argument. You said you would do such and such a thing at such and such a time. And now you've changed your plans. Not that they really, the change of plans really caused any inconvenience, but just the feeling that when you say you will do something at a certain time, you ought to do it at that time, come hell or high water. Well, that's being very unadaptable. That's being a stone kind of sticky uh, thing. If it, after all, doesn't matter when we do it, and uh, somebody is offended because the time has been changed, that's simply because they are attached to punctuality is a fetish. And this is one of the great problems. This is causes many automobile accidents. Men rushing home to be on time for dinner when they stayed late either working or they had to stop for a drink at some bar or uh, when the girl feels that she has to, if she has a fussy husband and she feels she has to have the dinner ready at exactly a certain moment, she ruins the cooking. He'd rather have a faithful wife and a bad cook. <laughs> I hope I'm not treading on any toes. <laughs> so, you see, we spend an awful lot of energy trying to make our lives fit images of what life is or should be, which they could never possibly fit.